Hey, welcome back. My name is KB Maria. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are returning, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about my current pregnancy favorites. If you don't know, I am carrying my second baby and I'm super excited. I'm in my third trimester, so almost at the end. And I wanted to share some of the things that have been helping me this pregnancy and um, thought it might be useful to some of you. So let's go on ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and start off with actual maternity things. Some things are not maternity, like some clothing items, but um, I'll start off with a few things that are actually maternity. So we're just going to jump right on in and um, get to know each other a little bit better. We're going to talk about these pregnancy underwear. Girl. Okay. So I carry my babies really, really low. Like not just at the end, but just low. So wearing underwear that cuts into my stomach or they're not big enough to pull over the belly or low enough to sit comfortably under the belly, it's just, it's not, it's not good. So I looked on Amazon, I was like, I gotta find some like under belly panties and I found some. And I, everything that I'm gonna discuss is going to be linked below. But these panties come in a set of three, they came in black, they're super comfy. Um, so I've ordered two or three different sets of them just so I can you know, have enough on hand. But um, these have been great for me because they sit very comfortably under my stomach. And when I sit down, I don't have to worry about my underwear rolling under my belly or having to constantly pull them up because they're supposed to stay up and they're not staying up. So if you have a low sitting belly or if you just want some comfortable under belly panties check these out they're really good since we're talking about panties might as well talk about bras so these are the maternity bras that I ordered um, I will say that I feel the band runs kind of small they do come with extenders which I am using on the very last hook I initially purchased mine in a medium and then I felt like they were too tight in the band so I got a large and honestly the large doesn't feel much bigger than the medium so I don't know but these were the only maternity bras that were all black I found a set of five. They had the extenders and they're comfortable. So they do have the snap down for nursing and I'm wearing them even though I'm not nursing yet just because they're more comfortable. They do have padding inserts in them. Um, and even with washing, they have it turned or flipped over, which I'm happy about. So if you need some nice maternity bras, I would say um, size up one size or if you're between sizes, just go with the bigger size to be on the safe side, but yeah. These are good too. Another pregnancy specific thing is my maternity pillow. I used a maternity pillow in my last pregnancy and I loved it, like it was great. But after I had my baby, I didn't use it anymore so we got rid of it. And I couldn't find it again on Amazon so I ordered a different brand's maternity pillow. And at first it was like uncomfortable. I think like early second trimester, into my first trimester, it wasn't all that comfortable. But now that I've gotten much bigger, <laughs> baby necessary okay so I use this this maternity pillow and I put a regular pillow on top on the head pillow so I can have a little bit more height and then I also have indigestion so third third trimester girl everything just popped off so indigestion so I have to sit a little bit inclined when I sleep and I lay on my left side every night so I have the pillow on top and then I put a pillow under my right arm so that it's not just falling so I'm literally like in a a cocoon <laughs> I'm in like a little bird's nest and nobody can get to me and my husband's like all the way over there because I have all these pillows around me but having a maternity pillow is great especially if you're a side sleeper like myself like I can't sleep on my back because I can't breathe can't sleep on my stomach because I'm pregnant so um, sleeping on my side comfortably is very important to me all right so let's move on to clothing items these are not maternity specific they're regular items but they just so happen to fit me while I'm pregnant so first the most comfortable night shirts ever invented. They are so soft and comfortable, y'all. I bought it in black and navy blue. Um, I'm having a boy, so I was like, maybe I should get the navy blue just in case you know I wanna take one to the hospital. And they button down the front. So I was looking for soft, long sleeve night shirts that buttoned all the way down. I was finding some that buttoned halfway, but I wanna be able to nurse in the um, night shirt. So I found these, they're so soft. I've washed them so many times and they're still as soft is the first time I took them out of the box. These pajama shirts, I'm telling you, they're so comfortable. They are great. They're great for your hospital bag. They're great for postpartum. They're great for while you're pregnant. Like, girl, you gotta get these shirts. Also, since I'm pregnant in the summer in Atlanta, it's hot. <laughs> I don't really leave the house a lot, but when I do have to run errands, I am like all for a maxi dress or a slip dress or something 
that's not like tucked and tight all over my body. So I found these dresses on Boohoo for maybe like $10. I pretty much shop in the tall section on some sites when it comes to floor length or long items. And these are just basic stretchy, basic cotton soft dresses. I've washed them and accidentally put them in the dryer and they didn't shrink, which was great. But I got one in pink and I got a black one. Lastly, I bought these rompers from Amazon. Okay, so remember like I said with the maxi dresses, I don't like a bunch of like lines and stuff just stabbing me on my waist and back and I don't have time for that. So I was like, let me get some like little short set one pieces that are stretchy and I found some on Amazon. I bought it in black and in gray. These are not maternity. I think I ordered, I can't remember which size but I will list it down below for you guys. And they're so fun and so like comfy. I mean, not when you have to potty. But aside from that, they're so cute to wear. You could just throw them on. You could put a little shirt over the top, just some flip flops or something comfy on your feet and go. Another semi clothing item, but not really, is my belly band. I found this on Amazon as well. Because I carry so low and I already have diastasis recti from my first pregnancy, that's where your abdominal muscles separate, I have a lot of back pain. And I talked to my doctor about it. I've been to a chiropractor and the recommendation is just to wear a belly band. I found this belly band on Amazon. It's got like a three piece situation going on, but it really helps me out when I'm having to do things that require a lot of standing. If you have back problems um, because you're carrying heavily or low, make sure you invest in a belly band. They're not expensive at all. I don't think mine was more than 20 bucks either. So um, definitely check those out. All right, so now I wanna talk about bio oil. I love this stuff. I have gone through like three bottles and it's not the cheapest, but it's so like soft and moisturizing on the skin. I first purchased it to use it for my belly. People say it's good for stretch marks or marks, but you know, those things are hereditary. Either way, I just wanted a good oil that I could keep on my belly so when, like throughout the day, I wouldn't feel itching. Um, and it was so great that I started putting it all over my body. And the bottle's so small that it don't really go that far, but you know, it's, it's worth the repurchase multiple times over. <laughs> Another super random thing is this drink that I really like from San Pellegrino. So I am not a fan normally of like carbonated drinks, like waters that are not sodas. <laughs> I'm trying my best to not drink a lot of soda. Um, that's just like not a good habit to have anyway. But throughout my pregnancy, you know, you can't have wine, you can't drink. And it's like sometimes when I have me a meal, I want me something with a little bubble, a little fizz. So I checked out a bunch of San Pellegrino waters and a lot of the flavors, they were just tasting like blah to me until I came across the cherry. It's like a merino cherry. I'll put, I'll put it somewhere on the screen so you can see it. These things are so good. Like for you to have a non soda drink that's only water and doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. Like it, it literally is just water, but it's carbonated, but it gives you a little flavor. This is a good thing to have. So if you're pregnant and you're looking for something that's, you know, gonna give you a little bit of mm -mm while you're having a meal, check those out. I really like them a lot. <laughs> So that's it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If there are any videos you all would like to see, pregnancy related or otherwise, make sure you put it in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see y'all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.